Welcome back to the show. Uh, our next fight is going to feature Yusuke Fuke against Vernon Tiger White. And Josh, back then, Vernon wasn't as good as he is today. No, he was certainly starting completely from scratch with his uh, entrance into Pancras. But if you wanted somewhere to really cut your teeth, Pancras was a great choice. All right, let's take a look at how Vernon Tiger White does in his debut. Yusuke Fuke versus Vernon Tiger White. Now he is fighting Yusuke Fuke, 24 years of age at the time, but over here we're seeing Vernon Tiger White, and he's a Shamrock Disciple actually, and he's still active in the IFL, the International Fight League. Yeah, Vernon is just, he has not stopped fighting uh, since his uh, induction into Pancras and just has continued to improve and uh, fight the top competition throughout the world. And Fuke, a great athlete as well, track and field, and a judo player uh, back when he was in school. He's, he, one, of the, one of his uh, most dangerous techniques is he's got an incredibly fast spinning backhand shote. And Fuke has the, looks like he's going, he's going to get the early side control on Vernon Tiger White. Yeah, Vernon right now is, is really at a disadvantage. And I would think that while he has had some training before entering this match, a lot of the things that are going to be done to him completely new at this point. And we just saw Vernon trying to wiggle out of this position. Now, what does he have to do to get out of what Fouquet He's going to have to bridge Fouquet over. Now, right here, he's caught in a V1, a pillow V1 arm lock, which is a very dangerous position to be in. Uh, also known as a telephone arm lock sometimes. But Vernon, from displays like this, would acquire the name of the worm, as well as the tiger, for his ability to withstand and be stretched and, and not not end up submitting. I mean, by now my shoulder would have popped right out of socket. And Fuke also has uh, White's arms in between his legs. Why is he doing that? That's uh, applying pressure on his shoulder and elbow and, and it's actually a very dangerous position to be in. He's got a neck lock and shoulder lock transitioning now to the arm bar. And Fuke looks like he's very close to that arm bar. He just has to get White flipped over. This fight could be over any second, Josh. Yeah, Vernon's got to be careful from getting his arm extended right here in this position. This is, and there it is. And he's got it. White taps out. Yusuke Fuke is your winner. I guess he didn't need that banana this morning, Josh. <laughs> well, bananas aside, certainly when you get a hold of somebody's elbow like that, they only got two choices. Let it get broke or tap out. Yusuke Fuke very happy with that victory. 119 in the first round as we come back to the studio. Now, Vernon Tiger White looking more like a baby cub out there in this first fight. Wow, and you know, you really can't hold it against the guy simply for the fact that he hasn't really had any martial experience as far as real fighting to this point, and it's just a learning curve for Vernon, so no harm, no foul, certainly in this instance. All right, next up, we're going to see Yoshiki Takahashi versus George Weingroff. Yoshiki Takahashi versus George Weingroff. As you see George come into the ring now, he's already 41 years of age coming into this fight. Is that a getting too old to be a fighter? Uh, well, certainly we've seen some uh, examples of, of folks in their 40s that are still able to be successful in the world of mixed martial arts, but to make your debut at 41, a little difficult. Now, George was a state champion in Tennessee college and high school wrestling, but uh, that was probably a long time ago. And he's gonna fight Yoshiki Takahashi, just 24 years of old, 17 year difference. And uh, Takahashi, also the main character of a comic book in Japan, as we've mentioned earlier. Right. Uh, exciting high school story, tough, as drawn by Saru Watari, uh, a friend of mine. But uh, Yoshiki Takahashi, in concerns of wrestling, was captain of his university wrestling team in college. That was a little redundant, but either way, Takahashi has uh, the fire to be in the ring, and it's just an incredibly aggressive striker as well as submission artist. Now Weingroff shooting in uh, for, possibly for a takedown but a good sprawl by Takahashi so far not allowing Weingroff to take him down Josh. Yeah Weingroff certainly doesn't he doesn't really seem like he wants to get hit too badly it's really not his cup of tea and and this is fighting it's not something that you're going to be able to avoid so uh, you know certainly a lot of respect for Weingroff to step in the ring but now a knees and a palm strike to Weingroff Fuke look, Takahashi looking to have the advantage, and Weingroff just shooting him blindly. If he keeps that up, he's going to get a knee sooner or later. Yeah, you got to see what you're doing out there, and Weingroff is really grasping at straws. And, and we just saw that knee right there. He goes down. He'll be deducted one point. Uh, George has to change his game plan. He just can't shoot in with his head down. 
I think at this point, uh, Weingroff, is, his eyes have really been open as to what he got himself into. Weingroff, I don't think he got the memo. He's still shooting in blindly, and, and Takahashi gives him another knee, and he goes down again. You know what, Josh? Fool me once, shame on me. Shame on you. <laughs> you know how the saying goes. Fool exactly. me twice, shame on who? Shame on me. But either way, I think uh, Takahashi, it was just going to be a matter of time before he put him down and out. Weingroff, uh, I really think that it's a heroic endeavor and really I'm admirable to get in the ring and to give it a shot, but this wasn't really his cup of tea. As we take a look at the replay of Weingroff, as we said before, earlier, head down, he ate a knee to the face, and uh, he's not getting up, Josh. No, no, uh, Takahashi was just looking for a chance to put him away and down and out and get that fight done with. And as we can see why, that was the only fight of George Weingroff's short pancreas career. All right, when we come back, our main event. <laughs> 